Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Master Dog 3 here with a uh, Left 4 Dead 2 gaming on the MacBook Pro 2011 13 inch model Intel HD 3000 graphics, 2.3 gigahertz um, Intel Core i5 processor, along with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 320 gigabyte hard drive. And before you close the video now, don't worry, it's not in window mode for the whole game, so there's not going to be anything distracting in there. And uh, this is bought off of Steam, which is uh, who makes Left 4 Dead 2. It's one of their makers. It's Valve. Steam, Valve, they all work together. They make Left 4 Dead 2. And um, I do not play online in this video. Um, I play the single player. And this is me right here. I'm switching up my graphics to, I think it says 1024 by 768. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I made it full screen, so... If it seems a bit laggy doing that because in full screen mode on the highest graphics quality settings it um it is a bit laggy I will tell you that so that's why I usually play on 800 by 600 in windowed mode not not mostly mostly just windowed mode because I play in class a lot and um it's easy to minimize but okay off subject it's um loading right now as you can see it takes a fair bit of time to load I thought for a uh, game installed directly on the hard drive and if you are going to be downloading this game it is twenty dollars on steam um, store for mac and it is a eleven gigabyte download so it's going to take up quite a bit of hard drive space if you don't have a uh, if you have a hard drive under 250 gigabytes or something like that you may want to think twice before downloading it and um, right there, I skipped. Be I skipped that part because I'm not even lying. It took me 11 minutes to get out of that room. All of you who play Left 4 Dead 2, please don't make fun of me in this video because, uh, yes, I am very bad at this game, and no, I am not good. <laughs> yeah, it literally took me 11 minutes to get out of the safe room, which is supposed to be simple and easy. So if you can kind of see the shots lagging a bit and just like a little bit, a little tiny stutters as I'm moving along, that's because it's on um high best quality right now, highest performance, but it's not a, uh, it's not really made for this, I guess you could say. I mean, as you could see so far, it's still fillable. I mean, not fillable. It's looking at the car. Sorry, it's still usable. You can still use the um, quality graphic settings. It's not laggy enough that it doesn't work. It's not super clear either. So if you're used to like gaming hardcore, this could be disappointing for you. I guess you could say. And if you see me doing any strange jittery movements, I'm still getting used to the controls on here. And um, yes, I do play this entire mission. So I guess if you guys would like, you could... uh skip to the end or something when it gets better but I, I don't care but I have a lot of good things to say about this so as I'm playing you can see there's there's stutters every now and then while I'm shooting it seems like every time when I shoot it stutters halfway through a burst overall I don't think it's too bad for playing full screen at um a high resolution because Left 4 Dead 2 takes up quite a bit of a uh, CPU power and graphics but one thing I did notice is that in full screen mode on um, highest settings on uh, Left 4 Dead 2 which is lower than Call of Duty 4's highest um, maximum resolution um, Call of Duty 4 did not lag as much as um, Left 4 Dead 2 does I don't I, I, I don't know about you guys but I would think that Call of Duty 4 takes a lot more um, processing power or graphics uh, card usage well this is integrated graphics so it's not really a graphics card but you just think that Call of Duty 4 would be more CPU and GPU intensive but I guess it, it does run smoother Call of Duty 4 than Left 4 Dead 2 well at least on my Mac it does and yes I do pour every gas tank in this mission and I drive out of here um, I also randomly switch weapons, <laughs> sometimes, on accident, and my aim isn't very good either. 
Um, I have, I, I can't tell you, I have played online for Left 4 Dead 2. It's, uh, it's decent. There's not very, there's not lag or anything like that when you play online. And, um, I also, if you, in case anyone was wondering, if you buy this off of Steam for the Mac version, which you probably would if you're looking at this video now, and it's $20, you will be playing with PC players on, on multiplayer. Because I went online and I was only playing with PC players. No other Mac users like me, so. And in case you're wondering, you can also use the built-in microphone if you're using a MacBook Pro or Air or something like that. Something with a microphone, you can you can use that. You don't have to get buy a headset or anything like that, unless you're on a desktop. Not really anything to say right here. Just uh, running around looking for gas tanks. Oh. Watching the tank. I think it's a shotgun because that'd be a lot better than I get thrown back <laughs> by that thing. You know, I have to real I have to tell you guys that the shotguns in this game are pretty pretty awesome. <laughs> Is it just me or do like teammates do nothing in this game in terms of getting gas tanks and helping with the objective? It seems like there'll be two gas tanks sitting here and they won't pick up anything. It's just like, oh, come on, man. And I, I don't know if you can sprint in Left 4 Dead 2. I haven't found out a way to sprint yet or anything like that. So if anyone does know, if they could tell me, that would be very helpful. Thank you, if you could. So this is my fifth gas tank out of my eighth. Got three more to go. What I thought was kind of funny about the shotgun too right here is that it shows that it's pump action, but you can shoot it semi-auto. Because if you look when it's reloading, you can see the little uh, pump grip or whatever you want to call it. I don't know the official name. Or it, it, at least I think it's semi-auto. He could just be pumping it like mega fast, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> but I don't think he is. So that could be a design flaw from Left 4 Dead 2, or it could just be I don't know. Whatever. It, it's just I noticed that. Could just be me. Only right, two more left. And again, sorry about the audio. There's missing the audio. Um, QuickTime Player screen recording, which is what I used to make this, um, does not let you record audio and video at the same time because people pirate videos or things like that, you know. Or, I mean, they let you do it, but you cannot use the two files together in iMovie or Final Cut or, or something like that because it looks at the time recorded or something like that. All I know is it just doesn't work together because it's supposed to be a copyright protection. And I think one of the reasons the game might be a bit more laggy, like cause it, this game seemed like it was a bit more laggy than it usually is, was because I was also recording, so that could slow down a bit. Because recording could, uh, you know, could just, it seems like it slowed down your computer. Which I'm pretty sure it does. So the graphics are still going to be skippy, I think, if I'm not, I know if I'm not recording, but they seem like they were a bit more jumpy when I was. I so own that tank, I don't know how I didn't get that kill. <laughs> and if any of you guys are like Left 4 Dead 2 players or anything like that, um, message me your Steam Gamer tag or account name or we could play sometime if you ever wanted to. You'll probably own me, but oh well. I know I'm bad. <laughs> Alright, last gas tank here. I feel stupid. I'm looking up and I'm like, um, it's not picking up. <laughs> Nothing really to say here, but I guess there's kind of a cool part coming up.
Everybody, oh, look at he's healing me. This is kind of cool, I guess. And if you guys could comment, like, rate, favorite the video, that'd be great. And um, if you'd like, subscribe. And any questions, just ask me in the comments. Alright, bye.